Good evening, team friends. Greg and Liz here with you. Thanks for staying with us. So it's something that's been promised for decades, syncing up the traffic lights. City leaders say we're finally there, and they've already seen some of the payoff. They tell us all of the traffic lights can be controlled from one room. As Dion Guillory explains, the new technology works in a matter of minutes. In a word, Baton Rouge traffic can be frustrating. <laughs> It's terrible. I mean, it's, it's really bad at a certain time. We've all dealt with it, but the people in this room hope you'll have to deal with it a little less. This is the city's advanced traffic management center where a new traffic system is being called a game changer. The way that we respond to complaints, but also to congestion and, and respond to the traffic in the area. Tuesday, city leaders explain traffic engineers are able to synchronize lights in real time thanks to fiber optics connected to each light. The stoplight synchronization system costs $40 million and has 176 miles of fiber optic cable. The mayor says now Baton Rouge has the most connected traffic system in the nation. Now this doesn't mean you won't experience traffic or never catch a red light. But it does mean that you have a team of traffic engineers working around the clock to keep Baton Rouge moving. Those engineers have plans for different times of the day, planned road closures and major events with room for improvement. So there's a couple of cities that we pull from and we even still now go to different cities and see how they're managing traffic. She stopped short of telling us which cities, but drivers say they're hopeful. You know, I always have a lot of faith in Baton Rouge. You know, they, they you know, it's not as bad as other places. To help keep you moving. Dion Guillory, WAFB 9 News. So city leaders say if you do not feel the signal times are working in a corridor on your commute, you can send a message to the team on the Move EBR website. We have a link to this page in the 9 News app.